What's up, y'all? And welcome back to Dad Needs to Talk. I'm your host, Robert. And today, we're going to be talking about that oh-so-good Sakamoto Days, Volume 1. Now, I had to... I had to make sure I did my part on this lovely manga Sunday, Sakamoto Sunday, if you will, to let the people know, the 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 people in the community, people in the streets, or as my friends over at the Kami House podcast call it, the manga streets. I had to let the manga streets know what is going on with Sakamoto Days. Now, this series is written by... Let me see. Yuto Suzuki. It is still currently ongoing in Weekly Shonen Jump. You can read the chapters weekly um, on the Shonen Jump app. Um, there's currently 66 chapters out as of today. And Volume 1 just released physically recently. And it covers the first seven chapters of the series. So, a little bit of background about Sakamoto Days. So, Sakamoto Days follows... A ex hitman named Taro Sakamoto. He was a legend among legends, or as some refer to him as the goat. And yeah, no, nobody could touch him. He was the best of the best in the business until one day. Basically, he ends up meeting, um, I believe her name is Ayo, if I remember correctly, where she is a, where, and so pretty much, yeah, once he met her, he chose to give up the hitman life, and he settled down, married, and had had a beautiful little girl named Hana. Look at that. Just, just wholesome. And that is one thing that I that I really enjoy about the series is like, you know, of course, yes, it, it does like have really dope action panels and just cool scenes and, and, and some funny comedy. But at the heart, like it has a lot of heart and wholesomeness because I feel like, you know, we don't get too many series where for one we don't especially like also also especially like in the shonen realm we don't get too many series where you know not only do the characters have a parent but they have both parents around and they are supportive and stuff you know it's kind of it's always hit or miss when it comes to parents and stuff but uh but it's also nice in this turn to where it's like okay hey we have a character who's a dad has his wife and has a child. Everybody's still alive. Everybody's happy. There's no crazy tragedy and stuff going on. And that is definitely something that I that I appreciate about the series. It's just because, like I say, you don't get to see that very often. So, because uh, Sakamoto, he's in his late twenties, uh, and while his hourly appearance, like yes, you know, he has put on some dad weight. I'll call it because hey, as, as a dad myself, father of five. Uh, I know, you know, not now saying that, you know, hey, I'm still pretty skinny, but compared to, you know, what I was, you know, several years back, whatever, you know, I, I packed on a few, uh, I you know I got, got my little dad belly going on, but <laughs> it, it is, like I said, just, just fun. Just, just getting to read this series because, you know, at the core of it, you know, Sakamoto, he's settled down, he's lived a life, and he basically runs a convenience store called Sakamoto's. But one day, uh, somebody from his past, um, Shin, the guy you see on the cover behind him, comes, basically, long story short, basically it's a situation to where it's like, okay, hey, you left the organization, you, you know, people don't get to just walk away, so we got to deal with you. And so that's kind of how things start to kind of snowball and ham start to slowly like get back involved in that world. But he does it in a way to where, you know, for the most part, he's mostly non-lethal though. 
he has some some thoughts because Shin is clairvoyant, so he can read people's minds. And so a lot of times, if Shin's in the area, Sakamoto will think of brutally killing somebody. But then you like like you like look down the page and you just see oh it's just a thought bubble, you know, uh, from uh, from Sakamoto's head to where he was thinking about doing this. He didn't. Like prime example, this guy came in. Sakamoto, you no, know, was thinking about taking him out. But as you see, it is just thought bubbles. So stuff like that just just funny happens throughout. And honestly, in a way, because I've heard this, you know. Uh, comparison brought up brought up sometimes a few times here and there over the years but like sakamoto is is honestly kind of like john wick in a way to where he can use anything and everything to take you out like there was one scene where somebody you know try to try to get the jump on him and you know shoot a bullet at him or whatever he had a cough drop in his mouth. He spit the cough drop out and to deflect the bullet. <laughs> and yeah, it, it, it's just, you know, he he's he's rocking the apron, got on his dad, his comfy dad slides. And but hey, don't don't let the looks fool you because Samaka uh, Sakamoto will go above and beyond to take care of the people that he loves. And it is always funny because anytime like there's a hint that maybe he is doing something crazy again, his wife is like, hey, don't forget the family rules, which the family rules is, hey, no more killing or she will divorce him. That That is one of many family rules. But at his heart, Sakamoto is full of love and so much so to where basically and, and this is kind of like like a like a funny kind of like ongoing gag. As far as like, you know, and this isn't with every character, but, you know, he'll encounter a character, uh, a foe or whatever, beat their butts, then give him a job at the convenience store. He's like, hey, one day he's whooping your butt and next day he got you bagging groceries <laughs> for, hey, and, and, and you getting paid, you know, and everything like that. And you basically become part of the family. And so, yeah, that 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 is the crux of this series it is a former hitman just trying to live his wholesome dad husband life running his little convenience store and every time trouble comes around he handles it um and just goes back to to doing what it do and yeah that 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 is like like like, like the basic boil down version i can give for sakamoto even to this day, like I said, we're 66 chapters in now um, on the current run. And it is something that I still enjoy. I, I still enjoy seeing the ever expanding cast of characters. There's you no know, reoccurring characters and stuff. There's always people that come back in from his past Hitman days. We're like, yo, who are you? What is going on? And stuff that kind of helps to fill in more background for Sakamoto and for these other characters that, that uh, surround him. And yeah, so Sakamoto days is definitely one to check out, to read. Like I said, go, go pick up volume one. It is out now. Um, I believe, let me see real quick. So we have dates for, Let's see, volume two is coming out in June and volume three is listed for August. So hopefully we might get these pretty quickly because lately Shonen Jump has been pretty good or Viz has been pretty good, at least with that, with their series of like, hey, getting them volumes out quick. Cause like we've got like a boatload of like Spy Family, Undead Unluck, Mashal, just like coming out, um, Call of the Night, all that stuff. So hopefully, you know, that that trend continues. But yeah, but that's going to do it for this one. As always, you know, let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments below um, or, you know, or, uh, you know, tweet at me, DM me, whatever. I'm at Danny's talk on all platforms. Let me know what you think of Sakamoto Days. Have you already been reading it like me? Did you just pick up volume one or were you interested in maybe just maybe? Robert convinced you to give it a shot. Whatever the case is, 
I hope you have an awesome day. And as I always say, treat yourself to something nice. Read some manga, watch some anime, play some video games, and live your best life. And with that, I'm out. Pick up Sakamoto Days. Catch you in the next one. Peace.